Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how we have to create literature review metrics because number of papers we had studied to do analysis of one particular kind of topic. So here is I just want to create a literature review metrics for accident analysis. You can see here this is my folder and I have downloaded these number of the papers around uh, these number of the papers I had downloaded and now I I would like to read each and every paper. So I will not repeat again and again all these papers uh, read it. I would have to create a literature review metrics. So how we are going to create let me I had opened one research paper and this is the paper that I'm going to study and uh, same way I have to study one by one all the papers those are relevant to my study those I have already downloaded. So uh, what, what we have to do you can see here this is the title of this particular paper patterns of road traffic accident nature of related injuries and post crash outcome determinants in western Ethiopia. A hospital based study and these all are authors and this is the name of the journal African Journal of Emergency Medicine and you can see publisher of this particular journal is you can see here elsewhere and now what we have to do how you are going to create your excel metrics literature review metrics now we can see here you can see here I had created this particular LR master file this one is the serial number serial number that would reflect you in a one go how many papers you had studied how many papers you had reviewed this is the name of the publisher that would be journal name what is the H index suppose sometimes we don't want to consider uh, those particular journals there I mean those particular papers those are published in low H index so we would like to consider only those papers in our literature review those are published in high H index journals so we can consider H index also then after that we have to create a column of year of publication then further is we are going to create a column of citation also because citation or wise also we can uh, justify this thing which paper is most relevant to our study highly cited paper that should be reflected in your in our literature review. Then we can go for journal publisher, author one. Those are the number of the authors. You can put all the authors in a one column also. But I had created author one, author two, author three because I just want to do analyze author wise analysis also. Year of publication, then title of that particular paper, keywords, those keywords they had used, focus and those are the focus areas we can use. And after this, we can take sample size also. If they have used uh, any sample size, we have to keep in our consideration. Then objective one to so many objectives. Then after that, we have to write here findings, finding two, whatever is the, whatever the findings. Then after that hypothesis of the study, then further, if suppose there is in this study, they have used any dependent variable, or independent variable so how many are independent variable and uh, which one is our dependent variable we can uh, we, we can we can uh, we can uh, keep a record in this particular column then the finally gap of the study we can find out and finally bibliography if you would like to put so then you can so now I am going to do uh, in front of you, there is the, I'm going to create a literature review matrix of this particular paper. So you can see here, what is the name of the, this paper? Simply we have to copy and we will paste in our Excel sheet. You can see here, this is the, here is the title of the paper. This one is the year of the publication, publisher, and further is year of publication, keywords and all. And uh, let me check this part is 
uh, movement is here. That is the, I think, title. This is the title, right? This is the title, right? And uh, here is, we are going to paste this. And uh, simply what we have to do, this is the title of the paper. And we can just find out, you can see here in uh, who is the uh, particular uh, publisher and uh, elsewhere is the publisher, right? And this is the name of the journal. So AFJEM. So I would write name of the journal AFJEM, right? And publisher is simply what we have to do. We can take it from this place elsewhere. Elsewhere is the publisher. And uh, what we have to do further, those are the keywords. I was talking about the keywords. So you can see here road traffic accident, severity, patterns, outcomes, determinants, and Western Ethiopia. You can see here and simply what we can do is we can copy and we can paste in my Excel sheet. So here is you can see here keywords. So simply I will paste these keywords. And after this, these keywords, this is the title. And after that, year of publication, authors also. And author also, I will take it from this particular paper, is the author one. And uh, author one, author two, that means that sequence must be maintained. Who is the first author? Who is the second author? And who is the last author? Or a number of the authors. You can take it. So what we have to do here is we can take it this one particular author also and same way we will copy all these authors. Then further what we do you can see here this is the introduction part is here. This one is the introduction part and after that you can see who is the corresponding author. DOI. Yes, of course, you can take it that DOI also because the DOI, why it is important DOI, DOI is important because at the time of when you want to see that particular paper immediately, instantly. So what you can do here is you can put DOI and uh, immediately when you are going to click on this DOI, that will open from this place also. Sometimes that would be very difficult to find out this particular paper. So you can put it your DOI also. And after that, you can see here, that one is the sampling techniques, which kind of sampling techniques this particular paper has used, right? What kind of, uh, we can say, uh, inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria accordingly. You can put inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria also. After that, which particular research tool and data collection technique this particular paper has used? So we will, we will, we will just go through this particular paragraph, right, where they have mentioned which kind of tool. So the tool were comprised of the questions used to access here is seasonal patterns, injury characteristics, severity and outcome determinants. So through this, they had collected this data, data quality control, right? And after that, you can see data processing and analysis. So data processing and analysis, you can see here. Then find, this one is the patterns, occurrence and injury characteristics, severity and level of the basic cares, all those things you can take it from this place and this table two, you can see. Table one, it is reflecting demographic variables, all the demographic characteristics, age of the, age of the patient, sex, religion, marital status, level of education, residence and occupation. And here is, you can see here, distribution of the respondents, right? You can mention here time of incident, right type of vehicle in which the patient were injured, all those distribution frequency and percentage and what sort of the categories he had used. So you can take it from this particular place. And uh, this one is the uh, seasonal pattern of the road traffic accident occurrence. He had well-defined month-wise also. What is the uh, frequency or seasonal pattern month-wise 
uh, already mentioned here. And after that, road traffic accident related to injury characteristic in Western Ethiopia. So here is, you can see here, all those things, all data is here. And finally, there is, you can see, levels of basic cares provided for patients injured in road traffic accidents in Western Ethiopia. So he, they, I mean, all those, uh, all those, uh, those were the patients were injured. So what kind of basic cares uh, these people had provided, that detail is here. And uh, after that, you can see this one is the bar graph properly. They, he, in this particular author, paper author had uh, used. And then you can see here what technique they had used, multivariate logistic regression analysis. So what we have to do, simply we will copy this, what techniques, uh, uh, data analysis techniques. So we can just paste here, right? This is the... Uh, multivariate logistic regression analysis. This paper is used. If any other technique further, this paper has used, so we can go for this technique also. Then the between uh, multivariate logistic anal analysis in between pre-accident events and final injury outcomes. So all those uh, parameters have taken, then finally he had written conclusion, the study concludes. So you can, you can, you can just have sample size uh, in this particular study is 286. So may itself author, it's a, author himself, he is uh, admitting this thing, 286 may not be satisfactory reflection. So further scope is you can take it more sample size and you can use this sample size for your study. So sample size also, I had created a column for sample size also. So you can mention sample size after this author one, author two, H index. Okay, fine. We have to go for this. And sample size here is you can mention 286. That would be sample size. Then further is, we can see here, um, here is uh, what are the results and author's contribution. He had mentioned all these things, right? And uh, here is, you can see these findings are generally in line with the findings that have been reported from different countries across Africa and India basically right so uh, the same kind of study we can apply to various other um, uh, countries other regions where we can check all these kinds of um, what is happening in these kind of um, uh, analysis and uh, we can see here uh, this one is the table 7 i had already shown you multivariate logistic uh, regression between treatment level and final injury outcomes and this is the multivariate logistic regression between injury characteristics and final injury outcomes you can see here and finally these are the references so in that way you understand how we are going to create our uh, literature review uh, metrics and uh, one by one in the same way i'm just going to show you now my second lined up paper you can see here that is also elsewhere paper and you can see that is published in 2016 and uh, this one is the transport research arena that was the conference that was the um, uh, transportation research uh, procedure and here is the that is the title of this particular paper and you can see this is the name of the authors and again the same way you have to try to find out whatever the columns we had created in our excel sheet same way try to put all this data in these columns and uh, when after that you have to complete your this excel sheet so that would be very easy to write your literature review and easily whatever that would be relevant to you and you can compare up to what extent we in the past people authors they have done this kind of study and what is the gap analysis and finally we can go ahead for this kind of analysis so i'm sure uh, this video would be helpful to you and uh, start practicing on this. So thank you, keep watching.